This is a response to Chapter 4 of Darwin's Black Box, Rube Goldberg and the Blood. In this chapter, Michael Behe claims that the vertebrate blood clotting cascade is irreducibly complex and could not have evolved naturally and was therefore the product of intelligent design. There are many peer-reviewed papers published in the scientific literature which refute these claims. There are many animals missing parts of the blood clotting cascade, yet it is still functional. Whales are missing factor 12, the platypus is missing factor 11, birds are missing factor 11 and factor 12, fish are missing factor 11, factor 12 and precalocrine. Lampreys are missing 6 parts, factors 8, 9, 11, 12, precalocrine and antithrombin. If the blood cloning cascade can still work while missing 6 parts, it doesn't seem to me to be irreducible. In humans, the loss of factor 8 causes haemophilia A, while loss of factor 9 causes haemophilia B. Yet lampreys are missing both these factors and are fine without them. This shows that just because a part of a biological system is currently essential does not mean that it was essential in the past and it does not mean that the system could not have evolved. In the blood clotting cascade, the role of thrombin is to convert fibrinogen to fibrin and to activate factor 13 which cross-links fibrin. Thrombin needs to be tightly regulated and it is inhibited by another protein called antithrombin. Lampreys are missing antithrombin however and they use another protein called angiotensinogen to inhibit thrombin. Angiotensinogen is used in humans to control blood pressure and for osmoregulation. Its role as a thrombin inhibitor seems to have been lost in the jawed vertebrate lineage. This shows that evolution of complex systems can work by removing parts, not just adding them. You may be thinking that blood clotting still needs multiple parts to work, so which of these parts came first? It seems that many of the parts were originally performing other functions and were co-opted for use in blood clotting. The sea cucumber has a protein related to vertebrate fibrinogen. Amphioxus has a homologue of antithrombin that was shown to be capable of inhibiting thrombin. Amphioxus also has a protein with plasminogen-like activity and a homologue of thrombin. Sea squirts, which are the closest relatives of vertebrates, have a short version of factor 13 as well as an enzyme capable of converting fibrinogen into fibrin. Sea squirts also have gamma carboxyglutamic acid domain containing proteins. This shows that this domain, which is found in several blood clotting factors, evolved before the emergence of the blood clotting cascade. All this evidence clearly shows that it is entirely possible that the blood clotting cascade could have evolved naturally. Thanks for watching.